Eat to the Beat has returned to Southfield for the summer and with it has come good music, good food, and good times. 15 News profiles a recent performance. Known as a lunchtime music series that showcases the metro area's best talent, Eat to the Beat recently returned to City Center Plaza with R&B act Zamar. The group, as expected, gave a rousing performance. I love the band Zamar. I follow them quite a bit. I pretty much have to because the saxophonist Marlon Baker is my neighbor. I love their music. It's very smooth. It's very relaxing, very enjoyable. Have I been to Eat to the Beat before and how did I like it? No, I have not been here before and I absolutely loved it. I encountered Zamar at the Plymouth Art Fair last week and they mentioned they were performing out here and I would highly recommend it. It was awesome. It almost makes you wish you worked in this environment just to be able to attend the the Eat to the Beat performances. While Zamar has deep gospel roots, it has made its name performing a groovy blend of jazz and rhythm and blues music. My motivation for starting Zamar, well, for those of you who don't know what the word Zamar means, it means to praise God with musical instruments. So the motivation was to create a, a band that can play jazz music but actually glorifies God in it. The group's major influences would be the Yellow Jackets, Chick Corea, Spyro Gyra, uh, Weather Report, groups like that. Music lovers can typically, can typically expect to hear uh, a different range of all types of jazz. Uh, a little bit of swing, idiom, uh, smooth, fusion, then we have a, even some touches of rock in there. So we, we kind of go a broad, a broad spectrum of music. Uh, we we kind of like incorporate a lot of different things because we have musicians with different backgrounds here. One's rock and roll background, one from a Latin background. Uh, then we have gospel musicians and R&B musicians. So it's a little bit of everything. We incorporate a little bit of everything in our music. Zamar and others see the Eat to the Beat series as essential to keeping area music lovers in tune with the local music scene. Uh, participating in Eat to the Beat series is awesome. It's a wonderful opportunity to share our talents with the city of Southfield, the lunch hour, to give them a break from their hard work throughout the day. But it's an awesome opportunity. It's great. I believe the impact that Eat to the Beat has on the city of Southfield, this community, would be the workers have an opportunity to come out on their lunch breaks and to be somewhat rewarded throughout the year of their hard work and have a chance to be given, you know, something given back to them for musicians throughout the city. To learn more about the Eat to the Beat music series, call Parks and Recreation programmer David Duchesne at area code 248-796-4627.